welcome back to our van tales this week you're going to be seeing well a little bit of this certainly a little bit of this and a little bit of this but of course first and foremost regarde rejoice and recognize the sun's out and not only is the sun out i'm getting loads of solar in and me and blue sif well we're on our way to the suffolk coast to celebrate who doesn't love that bit where you first see the water's edge they love the coast that's oh, shape's really misty down here Looks like the sun's doing its bit to burn it off though. Here, check out how close we are to the water's edge. It's obviously like a, a tidal estuary, but how cool is this? What a lovely park up, really enjoying this. Just having a little look for what to do tomorrow in the area. There's a couple of different options, but I think I'll take a little weather check on that. We'll decide tomorrow. Uh, Blue's already gone to bed, he's knackered. He's had a little walk around in the sand dunes. I'm gonna stick some dinner in and I'm gonna quickly join him, I reckon. burnt top on it. Oh, I'm a little bit gutted. I really don't like burnt stuff. To me, pastry's got to be a minute undercooked more than a minute overcooked. Now that's got a burnt edge in it. Blue, you're going to have some of this, right? <laughs> He's getting the top. Ah, and a very good morning to you. <laughs> I woke up this morning. Great night, by the way. But I woke up this morning and got that feeling of, well, spring's on its way, summer's coming, um, and not least because part of the pack down, because I'm about to move on, uh, meant sweeping up the floor of all the sand with my coffee. So, uh, okay, so it's an additional chore for the day, but it's a reminder that summer's coming, and we all gotta like that, haven't we? Okay, so packed up, ready to go. I think we need to now move further around the coast, and actually get out of this estuary section, and onto the proper coastline of Suffolk. And typically, of course, some basic uh, necessities. Pretty low on water. Let's get out of here. Hey, boy. I forgot to mention, didn't I? Some of you have probably noticed that Lindsay's not with me at the moment. We're picking Lindsay up tomorrow. Uh, she's been busy with the Conscious Heart Warriors with some breath work and healing sessions in around Hearts and Essex. You are done, you are done. You are safe, you are held, you are loved. You are safe, you are held, you are loved. So uh, we will pass back through tomorrow to pick her up and then uh, carry on our travels. But for now, it's just me and Blue. Yeah, so annoyingly, one of our favoured forest park-ups has gained some new signs. It's typical, isn't it? So I'm just thinking, rather than just risk it, because I do fancy just really chilling tonight, I wouldn't mind a fresh start. I'm just wondering whether I might go and hit a site, get the chores done. Now, could be as good a time as any. Let's have a look. Trouble is, anything that's around, that's open all year, is typically going to be a club site. A little bit boring. But when you're on your own and you need to do your chores, they actually charge per person typically. The dog is free. 
So actually, in the winter, one of these fancy club sites isn't that expensive when you're on your own. And if you want the heating on all night, <laughs> and you can tap into their electric. It's, um, it's not as bad a value as the middle of the summer when you just think, oh, chance. Yeah. Fancy a site tonight. Shall we? Shall we? Give me a paw if you want a site. Paw. Good boy. So we do a site, yeah? Come on in. It's a bit bright. Now, funny enough, I did ultimately find a number of places that I could have just parked up around that location um, overnight, no problems. But I've kind of fixed my sights on a shower now. So that's coming in above and beyond the idea of just staying out and uh, camping up just for the sake of it. Now, come on, who else don't set up a corner within 10 minutes of arriving on a campsite? Good morning to you. Woken up on a very frosty site in Hertfordshire, in, in and amongst a slew of white motorhomes. I tell you what, if you don't want to stand out, <laughs> don't come on a club site in a coloured van. But got what I wanted, a nice warm shower and the feeling that I'm for once not the oldest one here. <laughs> But now a very good thing about today is we get to pick up Lindsay. So I'm about to shoot off five Tesco's and then pick up Madam and then head further down south. If anyone is wondering, of course I left my flip flops on in the shower. Don't care how fancy the site is, flip flops are a must. Hey Blue. Apparently, this campsite has been here since 1953. I'm assuming it's had some updates over that course of time. It's cold. It's windy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we can't say we know where we are. <laughs> we stop for a loo break and it looks as if you could park here for the night as well. Yeah. But I'm guessing this is... The Don Sea. In... Oh, so I think it still might be in the uh, edge of Kent. Yeah. Lindsay's mm -hmm. with us. Hello. As usually, at last. Yeah. And at last we've made it to the seaside. It's a bit chilly though, not going to lie. Looks yeah. sunny, but... The Ooh. drive down here, which was awful by the way, it was bloody blue yeah. skies, sunshine. For, oh yeah, we're going for a cracking time down at the seaside, but no. Well, it'll be all right. We'll make it fun. Turns out we're in Romney Marshes. Now, I've heard of that. I've not. Well, that was a result of which, having a look at park for night, it looks as like there's quite a number of different potential park ups, of which this car park is one of them. It's got yeah. a loo block, which we've just used, but it's just been closed, so yeah. it ain't a loo no more. It's just yeah. closed it for the night. Locked um, it. And there's a fish and chip shop sign there. Yep. So this has potential. It may not be the most beautiful, but it is next to the sea. But I reckon we should check out some of the other potentials. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon we should check out some of the other but potentials. Thank <laughs> you, twat. You are. Try and get a sunrise tomorrow. Make a nice cup of coffee, go to the beach and watch the sunrise. Yeah? Okay. Oh yeah, let's see how Lindsay says to me when I pick her up. Oh, bought me a swimming cosy with me so we can have a swim. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm submitting Lindsay doesn't go in the sea again. We're driving recklessly. Over the potholes. Yeah. I'm off road, isn't I? No wonder I've got a bad neck and back. I think we've still got time to check out a few more. Okay. Do you want to have a little look then? Because it's still light. Yeah. We've got... But this one is slightly nearer the water's edge. Yeah, it so is. Yeah. But well, then the last one was nearer the <sighs> fish and chip shop. My nose is still dripping from the beach. Sorry about that. Yeah, the fish and chip shop as well. Depends if you want fish and chips. Right, should we try another one? Just out of the way. Cool, they do all right for parking spots around here, don't they? Oh, no, it's literally just round the corner. Happy with yourself? <laughs> 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 
He's happy with himself, that's good, isn't it? Third time lucky. If not, we've got options, so that's good. There's a lot of potholes down this one. I'll give it a point off for that. But, <laughs> on the other hand, it also means the locals ain't going to be buzzing down there yeah, at true. 60 miles an hour. Oh, down there true. We'll give it a point back. <laughs> So this is the one we opted for, option two of three, and we like it. Lindsay's in, dinner's on. So well, we're gonna settle in and just chill for the night and then see where we explore tomorrow. There's so many towns around here that I think this is gonna be a good little base. No frills, but we like it. Uh, look, Regardo, what was I saying? Outside I was saying, oh, Lindsay's indoors making us dinner. Oh no, Queen of Sheba is <laughs> back on board in bed. And I get in, she said, oh, have you put the dinner in the oven yet? Me? Have I put the dinner in the oven? <laughs> Honestly. Welcome back, Lindsay. Welcome back. The drone's being a pain, isn't it, babe? Yeah. For some reason, the drone is not saving my work. I say work. <laughs> yeah. I say that loosely. Um, everything I've filmed over the last three or four days to show you, it hasn't saved where it should save it on the memory card. It has put it into a little cachet on here. Anyway, it's stuck. It's stuck in here, and I'm not sure whether it's the right resolution when it comes off of that one. So I've got some work to do tonight to work out what the hell's going on. I've just bought a new memory card, so if it is that, then yeah, just, yeah. we'll just swap the memory card and I might have to just lose what I've got. But anyways. No, you'll be able to figure it out. You ready for some movies? No, I've got to put the dinner on, haven't I? Chop, chop. <laughs> oh, <fuck's sake. laughs> So we missed getting up and out for the, the sunrise, but slept all right, eh? Yeah, slept all right. Cozy. Cuddly and snuggly with my little boy. Right, we're off for the facilities. The toilet's just down the road. Yeah. But what a beautiful park up that ended up here. Yeah, it was a wicked, wicked night. Like we just, it was really chilled. It was so quiet. And but, uh, our neighbours were lovely, Gary. Yeah, I was going to say, so often is the case, a great park up is made great by the people you're with as yeah. well. And uh, I'm meeting Gary, what a top bloke. Yeah, I love him. <laughs> and he's just full of love. It was absolutely, yeah, again, I feel uplifted now just yeah. from being in his company. That's right, it's not just the <laughs> sunshine, it's actually nice people. Yeah. Wall of in great start. Kindness is everything, and just meeting someone who's just in that vibration of gratitude and love and just living his best life. Yeah, it's beautiful. I think we all just want to be, live free and just live our best lives. That is it. And just experience the beauty that nature has to offer, because she is stunning, isn't she? Yeah. And yeah, life is for living and experiencing and having fun and meeting new people, living your best life. Right, it's fun. Anyway, to yeah, and Andy needs a poo. <laughs> <laughs> Move further around the coast into Sussex, I think now. But um, as far as we can tell, <laughs> Canva Sands is over the sea wall, and that's a proper, as it sounds, sandy beach. So breakfast. Dog walk and then yeah. into Rye, I think, uh, in a short while. Yeah. Go! He's off. <laughs> He's off. Yeah, by the looks of things, as big as this sandy beach is, it clearly all gets covered when the tide comes in. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a lot of water coming in. Yeah. This, this tide comes in fast, doesn't it? Look, do you reckon she's got caught off out there, haven't she? Do you oh, know what? Oh, look, she's like proper up to her waist in the water. Oh, no. <laughs> Should we make sure she's all right? She's going to be cold. Yeah. Bless her. Bless her. <laughs> just check she's all right. Just yeah. a little bit embarrassed. Tia, just go to show how fast that sea yeah. comes in, though. And how deep dangerous. that was. It was, really, it was right up to her waist. Yeah, it started at her ankles and then ended up at her waist, just trying to get back in. You've got to be <laughs> so careful. Like, check the tides. Don't get stranded. There you go. Like Top that lady. Tips from Lindsay. Sea safety. So this is the bit I remember from when I was younger. Sand dunes for miles. Where's your hat, didn't it? We have one in Papi and walked up a little bit. <laughs> it's beautiful though. Yeah. And I see over there somewhere again. Look at all these sand dunes. All the kids playing. And the adults. 
what just happened on the sand dunes. So, have a little look, shall we? That happened. Wait, What's wait till you see the other one. But look at this. Oh my goodness. I hate sandy socks. Ready? Oosh. Like that sandy. Where to now? Next stop, Rye. So you're going to a, um, a pretty town? Yes. Yeah, because I think there's a lot of history in this place. East Sussex, we are in East Sussex. Starting route to Rye. Off we go. <laughs> Yay! Oh, that is loud. <laughs> Beautifully done. Thank you. Wowza. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good Bye, day. Monday. See you later. Have a good weekend. Take care. Bye. Listen to this, this is weird sort of little walkways and cobbled areas all the way around this place. And if you're looking for those sort of bric a brac antiques, yeah. emporiums of odds and sods, man, this place has got it all. Yeah. Another cobbled street, you've got a tea room, another oh, cobbled street, you've got yeah. an inn. Honestly, it's just everywhere. It's so lovely here. Not only is it full of character and quirkiness, now you read up, this is full of maritime history and all that. It used to be an island. Rye was once an island. So what was the, the boat in part of it? Was it a massive port or something? Yeah, basically, um, it comes from the Anglo... Anglo Rye comes from the Anglo-Saxon word. Anglo or Anglo? Anglo-Saxon, <laughs> meaning island. Wait, it is an island. I don't know. Which but is yeah. weird, because we drove inland. It's the um, biggest port in, in England, I think, at one or point. Was. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Anyway, Google that, because that sounds like a lot of nonsense. I don't think I've been to many places that have this many streets that are still cobbled. Yeah. It's beautiful. I found what we're looking for. The castle. castle. Not Roy Castle, but Rye Castle. I said Roy Castle. Oh, look, the stocks. You'd have spent many a time in there, wouldn't you? Back in the day, they get that Lindsay in there, throw eggs yeah. at that bloody nutter. That's why I've got a bad neck. Quite, quite heavy. That's a light one. It's the one you smash me over the head with. Oh, that is heavy. Oh, yeah. Fierce. Could I be an archer? Oh, that's quite a tension, that. Lucky I'm strong. Could I have a go? What a shot. See, I'm good at this stuff. Will you marry me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No chance. Oh, OK. Of course I will. This is what you're talking about with the... Island. The big port and stuff, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I told you. See, I wasn't telling fibs. Yeah, look, the whole thing was covered by tidal water in Roman times. There you go. True that, then. It's a view from the tower. This is the woman's prison bit. Oh, it's nice. The Women's Tower. Built to house women prisoners. Shall we? Let's. It's quite dark in here. Oh, it ain't bad, though. And here you shall stay until two weeks hence. When the bell rings at six in the morning, you will rise immediately and be ready to take your slot bucket for emptying and your water can to be filled. Well, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with I'm impressed. Rye as a little town. Yeah. And how busy is it? Honestly, fish yeah. in the summer must be madness. It's got a nice atmosphere. Sorry. So this morning, right, are we ready to go? Is everything put away? Yeah, everything's put away. Not a jot have been put away. Everything's out on the side. Luckily, I noticed before we drove off anything. Oh, well. Just have to get used to it with me. Oh, well, it's because I'm too away in my little astral plane, like, dreaming of healing the world and all that stuff, like, on a mission with my mind, setting positive intentions, clearing all the trauma. <laughs> yeah, that's, what I, that's where my mind goes a lot of the time, isn't it? Yeah. Guess where we're going? Back to where we went last night. <laughs> I don't want to go back we to the same We never go to the same spot, but it was so nice, like, we are actually going to go back and spend another night where we were last night. Guess who's in the kitchen? Yeah, muggins. Guess who's 
working <laughs> really hard whilst I'm doing everything else. Yes, Lindsay love it. Yep. <laughs> oh, I did breakfast. Right, stop. We're interrupting this video to give you an update on our diesel heater, which we still love, but we can't get it to fire up. It's broken. Well, the ain't broken. It's the control panel that has broken, hasn't it, Lindsay? Yeah, I broke it. But can I just say, when Andy first got it done, he broke it that badly that to fit it again. They said, you need to be careful of that. And since then, I've knocked it. He, his daughter come and stayed in the van. She's knocked it. And then the other day I broke it for good. <laughs> anyway, ultimately, it's kafucked. That don't work no more. However, what this has proven is that the after sale service of the guys at Auto Term is pretty damn good. Literally within a couple of emails and a phone call, the very next day, overnight service, it wasn't even 24 hours, was it? We had a replacement sent to us. Yeah. All right, it might cost a small fortune, but um, we are now in a position to fix our diesel heater again. What I will do is extend because originally... Can I just say, Right, what a stupid place to put a diesel heater switch. Right by a fridge, an oven, and a bed that you jump in and out of every single day, right? So the chances of that not getting knocked are pretty slim, whatever that would be. What's the expression? Slim, slim picking. Slim to none. However, I'll just add the fact that, yeah, it wouldn't happen but once. You do it once, you learn by that. Well. Mm. Lindsay smashed it off twice. No. But then, <laughs> anyway, she is right. We do still love her. It isn't the best of positions. I've got an extension cable which will run this. away from the bed. In with all of our other the panels. other gubbins. You know, up there in a lovely cupboard, out of the way of everything. Literally in its own safe space where no one's going to get out of bed and accidentally knock it or get the hula hoop to try and put between the doors and accidentally anyway, smash it I don't know what you're on about. The good thing is Auto Term have proved themselves. Not only do they supply and fit a wicked diesel heater, their after sales service when you're in a pickle is also second to none. Yeah. Thanks guys. So don't do what I did and break the switch because you won't be very liked by your partner when he has to spend a no. hundred and something pound to fix it. Yeah, the switch being 125 pound, plus the extension cable, plus the postage. Yeah. Mm, yeah. But, and men, women out there, if you are going to get one fitted, Put your little control panel in a nice safe space. Anyway. There you go. See? With that, you lots of love. On with the video. Let's go. <laughs> We've woken up to a miserable start. Wait, look, it's grey, yes. it's drizzly, and the seaside weren't so welcoming, was it? No. Well, neighbours were nice last night, didn't they? Yeah. They had a little party going on. <laughs> yeah, didn't invite us. But we're on our way back to. We've got a birthday party. Essex. Yes. For a 40th. Yes, so we've got that. But thank you for watching yes. our band tales. And if you do like what you see, like and subscribe. Check out Instagram, tell yes. your mates. And what else? Ring the bell, because <laughs> then you get all the notifications. Uh, and the prize is you get to see some more. Yeah, <laughs> you get to see us. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> Coming up to the tunnel, aren't we? Dartford Tunnel, we're going to do it. We're going to hold our breath till we get to the other end. It's going very slow though, isn't it? It's only going 30 mile per hour. Right. Get ready. Ready and...